do some ride along Holy with a three time Formula Drift champion. Four time Formula Drift champion, Andy Gray at Ibisu. I don't know what other way you could possibly want to spend an afternoon. <laughs> All right, so it is the final day that we are in Tokyo, Japan, and we are heading over to Ibisu, which is not even close to where we're at right now. So we gotta hop on a train. It's pretty early in the morning, and uh, we're just gonna go check out the track. So apparently, I didn't know a lot about Ibisu. I just knew that it was a track, but I didn't understand that it was like, a conglomeration of different tracks and it's like open to everyone and anyone can participate. So I'm pretty interested to see like what we're gonna see. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna see, but I've yet to be disappointed, okay? I went shopping. This is a cat sweatshirt. I found the cat sweatshirt at an auto parts store. I am not surprised by anything that may or may not happen today. So we hope you guys are ready to come with me. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The train ride's about two-ish hours. It's right like down the road, so it's only two blocks away. We hop on that, and then we hop onto another train. No, no, no. We hop onto one train, and then we're gonna get picked up, I think, at the station by some friends over from Ibisu, the, the actual staff. We're hopefully gonna meet up with Andy Gray, who's actually a Formula Drift Japan driver. <laughs> maybe a couple other people that could hopefully, maybe, maybe, give us a ride along. So that's kind of the goal today. That's the mission, is if we can get a ride along today, I'll consider it an absolute win. If we can see some cool cars, I'll consider that a happy second place. So we hope you guys have enjoyed the Japan content. And of course, if you guys want us to come back here, uh, let me know below on what you think we should do, because I would love to come back. But uh, there's a lot that we got to get to do on this trip, and a lot of it was because of you guys, and a lot of it was because of uh, Torque Drift and, uh, and, and Torque Motorsport. So if you guys haven't had a chance yet, please go over and check out Torque Motorsport, subscribe to the YouTube channel, go say hi on their Instagram, give them a lot of love because I wouldn't be here doing what I'm doing without them. So with that being said, let's hand it over to Ibisu. We should be there around 11 a.m. and uh, hopefully see some cool cars. Yeah. I'm really doing it, I'm really doing it. Holy <laughs> officially off the train. It's been two and a half-ish hours of trains. Just lots of trains. I like trains. Yeah, a lot of trains in Japan. A lot of train gang. Big train, big train guys now. And uh, we are waiting, I believe, for two, for uh, like a bus or a group of friends to come pick us up so we can go head over to Ibisu, right? Is that what we're waiting for? I don't think we have friends, so. Paid friends. Paid friends, also known as taxi drivers. It's so quiet out here. It's so different. This is our man for sure. Yes. Talk drift guys. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Jump on it. Assuming they're gonna come around this corner. Please hold. Oh my god. 
God. It's a playground over here. It's just a playground. It just keeps going. Wild. He's learning. He's learning. Good to see you. Good to see you. How you guys doing? Yeah, good. Good? It's been a rough couple days, just without cars finally working, so... What did you bring? Uh, I got my chaser, it lives here. Oh, it lives here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm learning so much about, like, how it beats to work. Did you just practice? Can you show me? What do you yeah. got? So this just stays here? Yeah, it lives up, uh, lives in, like, the storage yard, like, in the middle of one of the tracks, and... And then people take, like, take care of it? Or is there nothing really to yeah, take yeah, care yeah, of it? Yeah, you just yeah. come My by every once in a while? Sidex, like, look after it. They maintain it for me. Whenever I need work done to it, they get done. Like, I just blew a diff yesterday on the second lap, so. Oh, sick. They fixed that for me last night. Now that's I'm back shredding. So that's totally awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, that's wild. So I just wild. did a bunch of driving uh, at Nishi course. And then uh, now we're here. Gonna do some Mackies. Did you say, is it doing well now, then? That? Is it doing well now then? Yeah, yeah, no, it's great How's now. It? Yeah, Hell just yeah. a bit of a different diff ratio I'm not used to, but we'll be Do right. you mind if I take a look inside? Is yeah, that okay? Yeah. <laughs> just a drift car. That's all it is. Uh, I think that's Adams. Sandman. Colette. Over here. Which is pretty cool. You got all three of them. So when are you gonna take her out? Um, I have like maybe like if I'm lucky two laps left on these and then um, yeah, but I'm gonna just do some dumb stuff. Yeah, do some dumb shit. Let's see it. I got the car and then Mikey Racing, this is actually his wife's car. Okay. And he was selling it and then he got me a new body kit and painted it Aww. like within the past two weeks. That's so So it definitely awesome. didn't look like this a while ago. It was a... I like <laughs> just, you know, just there's a couple things here and there, but it doesn't work. It was, I mean, this is the Epicy car before I got yeah. it. So oh, like so this okay. was... Tried and true, beat up, black, Ebisu car. Half the body panels were missing, and I was like, ugh. Is it a one? I mean, this one yeah. still has what some sort of interior. What? They still have some yeah, parts of I the interior. Yeah, I love that this has like the majority of the interior in it. Like I said, it was his wife's car, so yeah. it's set up for a small driver. This is the first car I've ever bought in my entire life, and I fit. Really? I just got in there, have, and I freaking fit. You have like a car bag, right? I have a lot of cars. You have a yeah. lot of cars. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a wild playground up here. Uh, I think what the coolest thing is is that sometimes so when we're in Wisconsin we have like one track in Shawano, and there's definitely like a, a f it mentality that exists in the track, and I think a lot of that just comes from like the feeling of the grassroots drifting culture. Here it just is. Like everybody's just going out and sliding, and I spent like most of my time just talking and asking a bunch of questions. And it really is just like, get an exhaust, maybe get some wheels if you want, keep your wheel, your tires skinny, and go drive as much as you humanly can and when it breaks, just find the right team to help support you so you can get the car fixed so you can get go back out there. Like, that's, that's all they're doing up there. And for 90 bucks a day, which is actually like 70 bucks a day, you can't fucking beat that price. Like USD, I think he said it was 9,000 9, yen, right? 9,000 yen. 9,000 yen is 70 bucks. All day. It's crazy. All day. And you get yourself a playground and some somewhat depressed animals. But we won't talk about the animals because I might just take one home. So we're on Minami, which is like the track that has the infamous shot of the corner jump. Let's 
see the asphalt still. It doesn't actually carry the same amount of like maybe sauce as all the old YouTube videos do, but it is neat to be walking on this track right now in its current state, knowing that it's gonna get repaved and it's gonna like come back alive better than ever. Apparently, there's a lot of history here. Like, the individual that's running that bulldozer is one of the initial people that ever talked about even getting into drifting here because this was the first track at Ibisu. Everything else after the fact came from this track. This actually used to be a motocross track, not a car track. And then asphalt was added. A lot of drifting was brought into the mix. And then from there, you have, well, Ibisu, which in Japan, I guess, is just Ibis because there's no U is interesting i'm still trying to learn but there's so much information that's coming at me right now but the coolest thing is knowing that we're about to be standing right next to probably one of the most famous drifting moments of professional racing which is when he came over this turn flying the car jumped over the crest hugged all the way around the turn came all the way down the embankment the elevation the decline is insane you don't even notice that swooped around and then came all the way back up Hey, hey good afternoon, yeah. sir. Uh, he's grabbing some shit right back. Yeah. So you just got to walk around and check the place out. And yeah. Get more ticket to Is there stuff on Nishi? As if things couldn't get crazier, we're at powervehicles.com and no, it's not a plug because literally I didn't even know we were going to come here and they have a mountain of JDM cars. Literally a mountain of JDM cars. They have GTRs, they have Cressidas, they have Chasers, they have cars I don't even know. They have JGSs, they have LSXs. They don't have LSXs, that's a motor, I was just checking you guys. They have Sylvias, they have 180SXs, they have everything you could possibly imagine that I would say in America, everybody would pay a dime for. But these cars get driven to absolute shit, which is pretty insane that we're actually here. So I'm gonna show you around a couple of the cars, and then super secret, Team Orange, you can see some of their cars are right hiding over the cliff, and some 86s are hiding over there as well, which is pretty neat. The coolest thing though, come with me Mario, all right? Is this truck, I'm just kidding, it's not the truck, it's not the BMW either, but like, you got yourself some BBSs, I'm pretty sure those are Advantis, so we'll leave those alone, we don't talk about those wheels anymore. A little 300CX action, with a wing that you'd probably never catch anyone actually having, ever. You got yourself a nice little Mitsubishi, all right? By the way, I apologize to all the Mitsubishi fans. I didn't realize, you know, when Mitsubishi stopped making vehicles, I didn't realize that they made literally everything else in Japan. Everything I stepped into was Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi whoa, elevators, whoa, 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 Mitsubishi whoa, whoa, air conditioning. Whoa, 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 wait, hey, 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 hey. Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi purifiers. <laughs> so, okay, maybe Mitsubishi's still a thing. But like, look at this, huh? Can't go wrong with this. Can't go wrong with a little, little action, a little, little super action. Every single corner I turn, there's a new surprise of randomness. I was really hoping to find some Blitzo 3s so I could take them home and resell them for like $10,000. But I think Adam LZ already took them home. Drift taxi. Still shaking from it, dude. It's like it's like being on a roller coaster, but without rails, so you don't know if you're gonna just crash or whatever. It is. <laughs> it's just insane! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> so we're gonna do some ride-alongs. I think with and is that Andy driving? Yeah. That's so we're gonna Andy do driving. some we're gonna do some ride-alongs with a three-time Formula Drift champion, four-time four Formula Drift champion, Andy Gray, at Ibisu. I don't know what other way you could possibly want to spend an afternoon in Japan if you're a car enthusiast, like 100%. I'm so excited. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> Ready, Mario? Yes, sir. All right. Let me know how it goes. Don't panic. Uh, and yeah, have faith. Oh, and trust me, I got faith in this guy. <laughs> How was it? Wow, dude. Holy <laughs> shit, that was crazy. Alright, good luck, sir. Alright, if I don't make it back. I get to keep your Ferrari. <laughs> You got the grand finale. Oh, oh my God, bro. It's crazy how much little input he has to force into the car to do what he does. There's no forcing anything. He's just using momentum and feathering everything. It's a whole different way of looking at drifting, what he was able to do with that car. My head hurts. Wow. Okay. So maybe, maybe he does know how to drive because I absolutely lost my mind. Thank you so Good much for boys. allowing. That was wild. Oh, that was just that, That's just, it's like a whole different level. So on the weekends, you're at, at Formula Drift, driving yeah. like at Fuji Speedway, yeah. and then on a Tuesday, you're- Back to business. It's just like in a, the back yeah, of- Yes, that's, that's the office. That's just wild. So thank you so much. No I worries, really man. do appreciate no it. Worries. And if you guys are interested in checking out just yeah. what he's all about, yes, check sir. out powervehicles.com. Yes, yeah. And then of course, if you're ever in Ibisu, hit up Andy and Definitely. Cool. see what he's all about. So I appreciate it, man. No thank worries, you so much. It, it means a lot. We'll talk to you guys later. Adios. Thank you.